You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and It should be. Why don't you go and check outside, Caillou? Okay. Every Saturday morning, Caillou and his daddy enjoyed looking at the newspaper together. Caillou liked to look at the comics and make up his own stories. Oh, no! Mommy! Daddy, help! What's wrong, Caillou? What a mess. Quick, we'd better catch them before they blow away. Good for you, Caillou. Look, here's another. Hey, there's my comics. <laughs> no, Gilbert. <laughs> Daddy, look what Gilbert did. You know what? With a little tape, it'll be as good as new. Why don't you go with Daddy while Rosie and I finish collecting the rest of the paper? <laughs> okay. I'll get the tape. Caillou was relieved that his torn comic could be fixed. He wanted to tape it himself. See? You stick it down like this. Here, you can finish up. Okay. There. Have another go. I did it! Ready for our Saturday morning read? Yep. <gasps> no! Daddy, look what he did! Why don't we hang it on the clothesline to dry? Like the laundry. <laughs> okay. Later, Caillou and his daddy went to check if his comic was dry. There. It's as dry as a bone. I can see the pictures again. <laughs> you better hold it tight. We've got a visitor. No, Gilbert. Stay away. Are the comics funny, Caillou? <laughs> There's a funny cat. Kinda like Gilbert? I think it's time for someone's cat nap. <laughs> Gilbert likes comics, too. <laughs> Caillou was so happy to have his comics to look at that he was no longer mad at Gilbert. <laughs> Hide and seek.
Okay, take it. Caillou didn't want Rosie to play with his toys, but he knew that he wasn't supposed to make her cry. Some flour and eggs and milk and sugar. Then I stir it all together. Flour and eggs and milk and sugar. Then I stir it all together. Daddy! Mmm. Oh, hi, Caillou. Rosie takes all my toys. Well, she's younger than you, so she doesn't always understand. Maybe you could share. Caillou was annoyed that he always had to share with his baby sister. Why don't you go and play with Rosie, and then you can come back in a little while for the special surprise I'm making. Special surprise? You bet. Watch this. I'm a pro. Oops! <laughs> Need some help? No, thanks. It's going to be a surprise. I'm surprised already. I'm sure you can find a game that you could play together. Caillou was upset that his daddy wasn't listening to him. He didn't want to play with his baby sister at all. What is it, Caillou? Daddy says I have to play with Rosie. Well, that's okay, isn't it? But I don't want to. She is your little sister, Caillou. It would be nice if you could play a game with her. Please? Caillou didn't think it was fair. He felt that no one understood that he wanted to play all by himself. Caillou got the idea that maybe he could find something for Rosie to do, and that way, she would leave him alone. Caillou! I'm making a play for it for you, Rosie. can play in here. that Rosie was playing hide-and-seek with him. So he set out to search for her. Flour and eggs and milk and sugar. Then we stir it all together. Flour and eggs and milk and sugar. Then we stir it all together. Did you and Rosie find a game to play? We're playing hide-and-seek. I'll give you a hint. She was here, but she just left that way. Rosie, Mommy? Hmm? Rosie! Rosie was just here, but she went... Caillou liked playing hide-and-seek, but this was the first time that Rosie was so well hidden. He was beginning to get a little frustrated with the game. Daddy, I looked everywhere. I can't find Rosie. Every everywhere? Uh-huh. Still looking for Rosie? Yup. She's doing a good job of hiding, isn't she? Let's all go look. Did you look in here? <laughs> Shh. Gotcha, Rosie. Rosie wasn't there either, but Caillou was having lots of fun looking for Rosie with Mommy and Daddy. Rosie, come out, come out. <laughs> Rosie! 
I guess Rosie likes the house you made her, Caillou. Can I play in the house too? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you two should stick to playing hide and seek. Can I hide now? I think your little sister will have a hard time finding you. We'll go hide downstairs and you could come and find us, okay? Oh no! I nearly forgot my surprise! <laughs> come on, you two. Let's go check out Daddy's surprise. Then we could play hide and seek. Ready for my surprise? Gingerbread cookies! Yum! Yay! You have to go hide now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Caillou found a game that he and Rosie could play together. But it was even better playing with Mommy and Daddy, too. Caillou's Clouds. Caillou was going for a picnic in the park with Mommy and Rosie. He was very excited to try out his kite. Ah, this looks like a good spot. What do you say we have our picnic here? Okay. I'm going to fly my kite. Okay, but just for a little while. We're going to have lunch soon. Why isn't it working, Mommy? First, you have to make sure that the string is long enough. There, that should do it. Take a few steps back. Let go, Mommy. Oh! Try to run a little bit. Ready, set, go! Oh no! Caillou was disappointed that his kite wasn't working. My kite is broken. It doesn't look broken. There's just no wind right now, and a kite needs wind to stay up in the sky. But I want to fly my kite now! Well, if we wait a little bit, it might just get windy. Who wants some lunch? <sighs> Caillou felt bored. I wish it would be windy. One way to tell if the wind has come back is by looking at the clouds. See how still they are? Mommy, look! There's a dinosaur in the sky! <laughs> Roar! Oh no! He's coming to get us! Look over there. That cloud looks like a big bowl of ice cream. I'm going to eat some. Watch. Caillou was having so much fun looking at the clouds that he forgot all about his kite. There's a big tree. Look, there's a train. Choo-choo. Go get it, Rosie. Choo-choo. <laughs> Mommy, push me too. I'm going to touch the sky. Whoa! <laughs> the clouds look like bubbles in a bubble bath. Whew. I think it's starting to get windy. See, look at the sky. The clouds are blowing away. Bye, clouds. Bye-bye. Caillou, I bet this would be a good time to try out... My kite! find the wind on its own. If we take our time, I'm sure it will work. Ready? Look! It's flying! I wanted to touch the clouds. Caillou cleans up. Birdie. Caillou was very excited. He'd seen the cardinal before, but this morning he saw something extra special. A bird's nest! And 
it's an egg! Mommy! Daddy! I found a bird's nest! Really? Come and see! In a little bit, Caillou. Right now, we have an important job to do. It's spring cleaning time, when we clean the house from top to bottom. Can I help? Caillou wanted to help his mommy and daddy and got straight to work lending a hand. Huh? Hi, Grandpa. Hello, Caillou. I've come to look after you and Rosie. How about we go and play outside? In a little bit. Right now, I have an important job to do. Okay, Caillou. You can come outside with me and help me clean the windows while Mommy gets a start on the kitchen. Okay. Look, Caillou, a cardinal. Is that the nest you saw? There's an egg inside it, Daddy. There is? Well, we'll have to keep an eye on it then. Okay, Daddy. How'd you like to clean this window, Caillou? It's just the right height for you. I'll do a good job. The first thing we have to do is get your sponge good and wet. Okay, now wash the window with the sponge, then put the sponge back in the water. Caillou wanted to do a good job, so he took his time and washed the window just like his daddy told him. Like this, Daddy? Good, Caillou. Next, we dry the window with a paper towel. And we're done. Think you can remember all that? Yes. Do you want me to help you with the next one? No, I can do it. I'm washing windows, Gilbert. Hey, where's my sponge? Here it is. Caillou tried to remember everything his daddy had shown him about washing windows. Gilbert! <laughs> You're all wet! Caillou thought that Gilbert looked pretty silly. He wanted to dry him off, but Gilbert didn't like the idea. didn't have time to talk to the Cardinal. Right now, he had an important job to do, cleaning up the mess Gilbert made. Hi, Daddy. Look at me. I'm raking. I thought you were washing windows, Caillou. I was. Now I'm raking. Huh. I think you've earned a glass of juice. Okay. had already helped Daddy. Now it was Mommy's turn. Caillou! Look, Mommy. I'm mopping up. Hi, Daddy. Caillou wants to help outside again. Great. Uh, do you know what happened to these paper towels? Gilbert got all wet from the bucket, but I couldn't find him, so I raked the leaves and I mopped up. I want to be a big help. Caillou, it's very nice that you want to help, but you need to finish what you start. You know, maybe Caillou needs his very own chore. Caillou liked the idea of having his very own chore to do. There was just one thing troubling him. What's a chore? Caillou's mommy and daddy explained that a chore is a special job that someone does to help around the house. And that's how you make a bed, Caillou. And making your own bed can be your chore. Can I try it now? Sure, Caillou. Here, let me help you. No, Mommy. I want to do it. 
Making the bed was Caillou's special chore, and he wanted to do it all by himself. Okay, Caillou, we'll leave you to do your chore. Sorry, Caillou. Rosie and I are playing hide-and-seek. Would you like to join us? No, thanks, Grandpa. I'm doing my chore. Oh, I see. Well, I'll make sure Rosie doesn't disturb you anymore, Caillou. You're busy with important work. You bird! <laughs> <laughs> now I have to do my chore again. was proud that he had done such a good job with his chore. Well, Caillou, you really stuck to this chore and you did very well. Oh! Well, what do you know? A baby cardinal. He needs to tidy his nest. His mommy and daddy will help him clean up. But someday he'll be old enough to do his own chores. Just like me!